Tired of using cross dissolves, dip to white, and push transitions? I'll show you how to use motion graphic transitions inside Adobe Premiere Rush, and we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos. And hey, if it's your first time here and you want to learn more about making better online videos, then go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Transitions. We use them in most all of our videos, but many times we're only provided with the basic transitions to use in those videos. Well, inside Premiere Rush, you have access to animated graphic transitions, which will add some production value to your video. So let's uncover where these animated transitions are. Inside Rush, the standard transitions can be found in the upper left corner on the icon here. Cross dissolve, dip to white, dip to black. While nothing's fancy, these transitions are great to use, but let's go deeper to find some better ones. So let's now click on the title tool icon up here. It's inside the title tool where you can access the library of effects available to you. We can scroll down the list to reveal a couple animated transitions here. Let's go with this one right here and place it on our timeline and play it like so. There, you can see the transition taking place, but it's the placement of these elements that's important. You want to place this graphic over top of the cut between two clips, so drag your graphic over top of said clips like so. The purpose of this graphic is to transition us from one scene to another. Now, what's important here is how the effect comes in and out. We definitely want the graphic to cover the actual cut that's taking place on our timeline, but position it so when the transition wipes out, we're now showing the next clip in the sequence. You don't want to place this in the wrong area so it wipes in and wipes out while we're still on the same clip. Place it properly so it wipes in on the first clip, covers the mark, then wipes out, revealing the next shot. One more thing to mention is you can customize these transitions to match your brand colors. Clicking on the Edit tab in your toolbar over here will open up the graphic into layers. You can see here there are two layers, a blue triangle layer and a yellow triangle layer. Clicking on the color box here will allow you to select your own color or type in the hex code for your branded colors. My colors are light blue, are charcoal gray, and white. Looking at this graphic, that blue is good for me, but I'll edit this yellow to make it charcoal gray looking like so. Now we see our new customized transition taking place over our two clips here. Voila! Now that you've seen where the animated transitions are located and how to properly place them, you'll be able to apply these same techniques to any other transition effects inside Rush. If you haven't already downloaded my Before You Shoot guide, please follow the link in the show notes below. The guide will prove as a useful resource for each and every one of your video creations. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash a like. And if you want to watch more videos just like this one, please consider clicking that subscribe button and clicking the bell so you don't miss the release of our new videos. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.